Some artists seem to have unlimited inspiration, while others, <laughs> no matter how hard they want to make art, are clueless when it comes to what they want to draw. I think most of us experienced the first when we were kids, but at some point something came in the way of our wild creativity. Maybe it was criticism or perfectionism. I don't think it's necessarily a bad thing, and that everyone should just draw whatever comes to their minds without thinking about realism or making their art aesthetically pleasing, whatever it means to them. It's a personal decision. It all depends what we're after. For me, making something aesthetically pleasing is part of the joy. I can't choose not to want it, and I can't pretend to be pleased with something when I'm not. There was a point in my adult life when I never wondered what to draw. I had found a way to tap into my creativity, and it was truly bottomless. I think we all have that in ourselves. I was able to draw very creatively without restraint, and I had a lot of joy in the process. But I hated everything I produced, and not being satisfied with the end result led me to stop making art for years. So ultimately, it was not a sustainable way to make art. For me, the process and the result are both important. I understand now that I need childlike creativity and fun in the process, because I don't want to be miserable. But I also need some level of satisfaction, even if it's just knowing that I did my best with a particular piece. Now, I know what I don't like in my own work, I know what I don't want to draw anymore, and I also know that I want to make art, so that's something. And I think the main reason that makes me want to make art is that feeling I get when I look at an artwork I like. A mixture of wonder and jealousy. Something along the lines of, I want to do this too. This is why one of the first things I did when I got back to art in February was to make a Pinterest board of all the things I like. I didn't organize it at all, and it's interesting to see how it evolved since then. At first, I didn't make any distinction between artists, styles, mediums, I just saved everything I liked. My taste didn't just change with time, it evolved. Looking back at the first images I pinned now, I don't like them as much as I used to. With time, I started to see recurring themes, styles, and artists. When I googled their names, some words kept coming back. I read Wikipedia pages to understand who inspired the artists who inspired me, and I found common roots. I also tried to figure out what was appealing to me in images that really stood out. Was it the composition, the colors, the subject, the style, the line quality, the contrast? As I tried to figure out what to draw, I don't want to simply copy artwork I like. The idea for me is to understand what I like, how artwork I find appealing achieve it, and to extract that <laughs> to make it mine and to use in my own work. For this, I made a new, more organized inspiration board. I selected artists from whom I enjoy a number of pieces rather than just one. I selected three to five artworks to avoid overloading my board and I organized them in a way that makes sense to me. This is not a strict organization by time period or art movement, but rather an intuitive one. When I liked similar qualities in different artworks, even if I couldn't name it, I just put them close to one another. Looking at it from a distance, I can already notice some interesting things. The first is that although I have mostly worked in black and white in my life, there is a lot of color here. Also, <laughs> I don't know if it's unconscious cultural influence, but a lot of artists here are either French or have made a significant part of their work in France. I definitely have a strong inclination towards Art Nouveau. But the most interesting to me, and it's probably because as someone who feels all over the place, it's comforting, it's reassuring. 
The most interesting thing is that there are things in there that I've been obsessed with for a very long time and that I can even see in the artwork I made that I don't like. It's as if I was already taking the same qualities I am now, even though I didn't manage to express them as I wanted to. As I was gathering images and making quick Google searches, I realized that most of the artworks I like had been done in the same time period or were related to the Art Nouveau movement in one way or another. For example, Art Nouveau has been influenced by Japanese art, so it's not surprising that I also feel fascinated by Japanese woodblock prints. This is not a definitive roadmap for my artistic goals, but putting this board together has been extremely inspiring and motivating. If you came here because you also don't know what to draw or what your artistic style is, I hope you found this idea helpful and if you did, tell me in the comments what you found out. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one.